In a dynamic global environment where threats to national security are non-traditional, constantly evolving and transnational in nature, militaries across the globe are increasingly called upon to respond to these challenges. Regional forces are no different in that regard and face additional challenges as a result of transnational organized crime. In the post-Cold War paradigm, the need to collaborate and pool resources and expertise in order to mount effective responses to the identified threats has become a distinct reality. Subsequently, the need to have common training standards which adhere to international best practices and ensure interoperability has taken on even more significant importance. In recognition of this reality, the Jamaica Defense Force has established the Caribbean Military Academy or CMA. The overall philosophy and approach of the Caribbean Military Academy is to create a single regional military academic institution. The academy will codify the doctrine used by the JDF and that of regional partners as well as standardize the courses offered. It will provide oversight for all courses in an effort to gain regional and international certification and accreditation and will become the training academy of choice for small states with defense forces and or paramilitary forces. Under the CMA, the Jamaica Defense Force, in conjunction with the Canadian government, and armed forces of other regional and international partners has established six centers of training excellence to meet local training requirements to support the region. The Caribbean Institute of Professional Military Education, CIPME, is located in Monique, St. Anne. It conducts courses aimed at preparing junior officers to perform junior and intermediate staff functions with excellence at the unit and headquarters levels and command functions at the subunit level within the context of a brigade. CIPME is a very, very interesting organization. We started in Newcastle in 1993 as CJCSC, Jamaica Junior Staff Course and Command College. Now we have moved on to the CIPME, which stands for, as I said earlier, Caribbean Institute of Professional Military Education. Here our role is to train officers, not only from the JDF, but also from the JCF, the Correctional Services, the Fire Services, our regional partners, and in recent times we've extended to Latin America, South America, and also to Africa and parts of Europe. It also delivers courses aimed at developing senior enlisted military members as well as the mid-level leadership of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Since the commencement of the program, it has been a very rewarding, very rich experience. The lessons that we learn here are really interesting. The extensive planning in operations, it really creates that level platform so that we, the JCF and the JDF can better cooperate. Courses delivered at the CIPME include the Caribbean Junior Command and Staff Course, the Special Junior Staff Course, the Young Officers Course, the Training Development Officers Course, and the Warrant Officers Course. On this course, it has been very interesting interacting with different internationals. So the different dynamics of people getting to know them, their culture, how they act and behave throughout, it is very interesting to me. I've been exposed to a plethora of information relevant to management, leadership, tactics, as well as presentation skills. And I have gained a lot of information from these subjects. When it comes to the different levels of planning, certainly you have to ensure that there is unity of command and guaranteed success from the top all the way down across. And therefore, it is very important for you to be able to understand analyze the situation and know exactly what your superiors require of you. The CIPME also hosts the annual Caribbean Security and Strategic Conference in partnership with the U.S. Naval War College. The Caribbean Military Technical Training Institute CMTTI is located in Up Park Camp, Kingston. It is the premier artisan skills training center in the Caribbean, providing highly efficient, adaptable, and effective artisans for the armed forces of the region. The Caribbean Military Technical Training Institute commenced operations in January 2008 through a partnership with the Hard Trust NTA. We normally employ trades that are essential to the development of 
Jamaica Defence Force and the country on a whole. Through the course as well, we send out all our instructors to get second-hand experience and knowledge so we can bring back that experience here at the school and teach the students. Here at the JDFTTI Welding Department, we conduct welding courses such as the MIG welding, the TIG welding, the oxyacetylene welding, and also the manual metal arc welding. These courses enable the trainees to matriculate in the working industry. So far I've learned various different types of well. I'm looking forward to go back and put all of these training into good use when I go back to Belize. Here at the CMTTI, we train students to become efficient in electrical installation, to be able to better equip and handle themselves in their departments and their workforces wherever they work. We have been preparing our soldiers to be able to assist the country and the wider Caribbean on a whole. The CMTTI partners with the Heart Trust NTA and offers skills training accredited to international standards by the National Council on Technical and Vocational Education and Training, NCTVET. I am confident as a female leader within the Jamaica Defense Force. The men and women under my command do not just see me as a woman, but as a strong leader who inspires confidence and competence at world-class level. The Caribbean Military Aviation School, CMAS, is located at the Norman Manley International Airport in Kingston. It provides world-class instruction to military aviators, technicians and engineers, equipping them with the necessary skills for the effective conduct of military aviation operations and maintenance. This is achieved through the use of state-of-the-art simulation and aviation training equipment. The school is comprised of the flight training department which encompasses both rotor wing and fixed wing training. The Department of Aircraft Technician Training trains two categories of aircraft technicians, airframe and engine and the avionics technician. The airframe and engine technician specializes in engine and airframe related systems. The avionics technician specializes in instrument, electrical, communication and navigation related systems. My role is to check the standards written down and ensure that the students, instructor, staff and others are equipped with the relevant information to ensure that the students when they leave here they will be of a certain standard. It's really a very interesting school. What I've learned about it, it's really giving us a very good knowledge in terms of uh, flying following procedures in flying. This is a very, very good experience for me. When I go back to my country, I think I will share the same experience with my colleagues. We have a shortage of female pilots especially, so this course is really a big deal for the Jamaica Defense Force in terms of getting more female pilots. The students will work alongside highly and experienced instructors who will train them to the very high standard of the aviation industry. We utilize the Bell 206 jet ranger to conduct basic and advanced rotor ring flight training, which is followed by instrument and navigation principles. Our aim is to be a world-class institution where people from around the world can come and be trained in the field of aviation. The Caribbean Military Maritime Training Center, CMMTC, is located in Port Royal in Kingston and delivers military and law enforcement maritime training to local and international security forces. We formed a maritime arm of the centers of excellences across the force. What we aim to achieve here is to deliver professional maritime training, not just to Jamaica and JDF, but to our other regional partners, which extends both locally and regionally, internationally in some cases. So we've had students from the JCF, from the Dominican Republic, on other Caribbean countries, and even as far as Africa. I am currently on the bridge watch keeping course, which is a prerequisite to serve on board our offshore patrol vessels. It's been very useful since we arrived here that all the knowledge that we get. I'm glad and I'm also going to put in practice all the things that we learned. At the CMMTC, we have certain pilot or what we call foundation courses, one of which the bridge watchkeeping course. The aim of that course is to equip our junior officers as principal warfare officers. Within the realm of navigation, there are different tiers of operation. 
At the Coast Guard, unfortunately, being that we're so small, our officers are cross-trained to be multifaceted. So whilst on the bridge watch keeping course, we'll expose them to things such as surface warfare training, navigation training, meteorology, pilotage, just to name a few. The CMMTC has the most advanced bridge simulator in the region. The Caribbean Infantry Training Center, CITC, is located at the Newcastle Hill Station in the Blue Mountain Range above Kingston and is the home of basic recruit training. At the Caribbean Infantry Training Center, we believe in the profession of excellence in all of the training that we conduct. For the recruit training, we have that awesome responsibility for persons entering the Jamaica Defence Force and to ensure that they are trained to the standards outlined by the training development cell within the Caribbean Military Academy. Our role as physical training instructors is to ensure the recruits are adequately prepared mentally and physically to meet the demand of the Jamaica Defence Force. As an instructor, more so a female, it isn't an easy task. However, I'm a living proof that it isn't impossible. To join the Jamaica Defence Force, yes, it's a challenging one, but still achievable. We ensure that your physical and mental development is being done gradually to ensure your success. As a chief instructor here in the training centre, we are required to plan and prepare training, planning. It is important to get a certain performance from the recruits here. As a female training officer, the advantage that I would take to the training environment is the ability to provide for the specific needs that females would have in training. In Newcastle, training will never be easy, but with the willpower and determination, you can. My task here is to transform civilians into military beings. If you wish to join the JDF, you will have to overcome the challenges here at the CITC first. The CITC provides the highest quality non-commissioned officers, NCO, and specialist officers training in order to enhance the professional development of members of the JDF. The Caribbean Special Tactics Center, CSTC, is located in Monique, St. Anne and offers training opportunities for militaries and other law enforcement agencies that perform advanced operations. To accomplish its mission, CSTC delivers courses at the highest standard in keeping with international best practices. The Caribbean Military Academy, CMA, is the foremost military academic institution in the region, providing relevant, internationally recognized and accredited tertiary level education and certification through adaptable, innovative and professional learning environments in support of the interests of Jamaica and our partner nations.